Bruh. Are you tired of getting left on red by the girl that you just adore? Guys, that was totally a joke. Please don't leave. I promise I have some good information for you. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about the five reasons you may be getting left on red if you are sending these types of messages. If you're new to this channel, my name is Brandon Balfour, and this is a men's wellness channel where we talk about fitness, we talk about fashion, we talk about lifestyle. So if any of those sounds interesting, please consider hitting that subscribe button and join our wonderful family that we have here, guys. And without further ado, let's get right on to this video. Number one is you are texting her way more often than she is texting you. Texting her more often than she's texting you is going to scream desperate and you do not want to seem desperate because that comes off as being needy and neediness is super unattractive guys. So instead give her a little bit of room. Kick it down a notch. This shouldn't be a one-sided thing. This should be something where you guys meet halfway. So if you feel that you are the one who's initiating the conversation every time, you know, just stop for a little bit. See if she will initiate the conversation because guys, if she can't do that over text, she's not going to do that in real life guys. So make sure that you are not texting her more than she is texting you. Your replies lead to a dead end. When you reply with a, yeah, sure, maybe, don't expect them to reply. This is going to lead to a dead end conversation and she's also gonna feel like you're not really interested in what she's talking about. So guys, instead of doing that, try putting a little bit more effort into your text just to make the conversation last a bit longer. All right guys, and before we continue, I want you to go into the comments section and tell me the cringiest text that you have ever sent to a girl. I would love to read these text messages, guys, so please do it, and let's keep going. My dude, your conversation starters are they are kind of weak. How familiar does this look? I have seen so many guys do this, and they kill their chances within the first couple of words that they text to this girl. If you start a conversation like this, you have already set yourself up for failure. Instead of talking about the weather or talking about what you just ate, try to be a little bit more creative and think outside the box. So let's just say the weekend's coming up, and you ask her what she's got planned for the weekend, and then if she says she She's doing anything interesting you can elaborate on that subject so think a little bit outside of the box throw out a question to her then see if you can elaborate on this and this is gonna make it a lot easier to get that conversation going dude you overshare just way too much information imagine meeting someone for the first time and the first thing you tell them is about how all this stuff happened to you in your life how about your dad and uh, your mom and how your ex-girlfriend had just broken up with you and how crap your life is Dude, nobody wants to hear that, especially the first time that they're meeting you. Yes, you can get into those conversations when you have built up a relationship with her, but guys, try to keep it as casual as possible when you're first talking to a girl. Don't overcomplicate anything and don't make them feel uncomfortable. You're texting her like a teenager. Get your grammar right, bruh. Stop changing words that are already short like great, laughing out loud, uh, what you're doing, JK. Guys, just spell out what you mean to say. I saw this person and they wrote great GR8 and I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? It's only two more letters. Like how much more effort does that take out of your day? So what I'm trying to get at here guys is just spell out exactly what you want to say because matter of fact, girls actually find intelligence very attractive. So take the extra few seconds out of your day to finish that word because this is going to separate you from all the other guys that's texting her like teenagers. And that is it for today's video guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. Now you're no longer going to be a weak texter and you're going to get them girls. So if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. I don't even need to tell you this anymore. You guys are already amazing. So I will see you in the next video. Peace out guys.